Hello and welcome to the Friday, December 15th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Ever wanted to deploy our D-Shield honeypot and experiment with it, but had issues getting it to work at home in your home network because, well, your ISP sadly doesn't give you a fully routable IP address. This is a common problem in particular if you're using, for example, a satellite provider like Starlink or a cellular network provider like, for example, these 5G T-Mobile home devices. Well, in that case, your best option may be to move to the cloud. We had for a while for Azure a Terraform script in order to deploy the Honeypot. However, things have changed with the Honeypot, have changed with Azure, and uh, there were some problems getting that set up. Thanks to one of our undergraduate interns, again, Michael Smith, for updating the instructions and not only getting Terraform to work again for the DShield Honeypot, but also to offer a couple of troubleshooting steps in case you're running into any problems and how to bypass some of the common issues that you may run into. And early on Thursday, some users of Ubiquiti Unify camera products did report that they were able to access other users' cameras. They usually became aware of this by receiving notifications like, for example, motion alerts or doorbells being used from these other users. And when they then logged into their Ubiquiti account, they did see other users' cameras as part of their account, and they had full access to these cameras. Ubiquiti has by now posted a brief notice, a little bit explaining what happened here. Apparently, some cameras were assigned to the wrong account, which then led to them showing up in the other user's account when they logged in and also the notifications being redirected. This was a little bit of a surprise to some users because one of the sort of selling points and advantages of these cameras is that they actually keep footage on premise and not in the cloud. However, Ubiquiti does maintain a portal that allows remote access to these cameras and which user has access to what cameras is regulated by access controls in this portal, which apparently were mixed up for about a thousand to two thousand different users. Well, it's of course easy to verify if you're seeing other users' cameras. It's difficult for you as a victim to verify if your cameras were assigned to an other user's account. Not clear at this point if Unify took an effort to notify affected users. And Zoom today not only released uh, updates for its products, fixing for different uh, vulnerabilities, but it also revealed its own vulnerability impact scoring system or VIS. Uh, this is sort of an interesting move here for a vendor to come up with essentially what is sort of a little bit sold as an alternative to the CVSS scoring system. They do describe this vulnerability impact scoring system as an an open system, so everybody is free to use it, but uh, Zoom does essentially own the system and does define sort of how it works. That said, uh, one of the selling points being offered here is that it's more flexible and more adaptable to a particular organization's needs. We'll see if this really matters. Like it's a little bit odd for a single vendor to sort of propose a system like this. The CSS scoring system was uh, started and is being maintained by FIRST, which is really more an industry organization and really sort of more consensus based versus just an individual vendor's idea of how to score vulnerabilities. The approach overall doesn't really look bad. Uh, like I said, we'll have to see if uh, people will find this useful. 
And in other vulnerabilities and bug fixes, we do have a patch for Squid, the web proxy. It fixes a denial of service vulnerability. This is not affecting the default configurations. You do have to configure the follow X forwarded for feature. And in that case, a large X forwarded for header can lead to the denial of service. And well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday.